Hi and welcome. It's Lisa here for Honeybee Stamps. Thanks for joining me for another card video. Today I want to share how I created one of my cards that I did for Sneak Peek Week. I received some nice comments on it and I thought I should share how easy the process really was. So there's the card that I made for Sneak Peeks using the palm frond cover plate die and the diamond thin frame die. Now I also use the Perfect Sentiment stamp set as well. And I'm going to be using the Thinking of You sentiment from this stamp set. I love this font, that scripty font, in love with it. Now off screen, I went ahead and I ran the palm frond cover plate through my die cut. Now I cut out four of these. If you're making one card, you only need two of them. But I thought I would make another card to show you how you could go about doing this a different way. So I'm going to be using Memento ink in the color Desert Sand to cover two of these die cut panels. Now I'm using these Memento inks so I can use my Copic marker shortly and I'll talk about that as I'm using them. Um, I didn't worry too much about the application of the ink being even because I did want some areas darker than others. So I had a few of the gold diamond frames left from the first card I made. Um, this is giving me an opportunity to use those. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over, use 1 8 of an inch double sided tape on the back of them. Now you can skip that part entirely, but I just found it makes it easier if you have them held together with something. It makes it easier to work with them. I'm going to use some post-it tape after I center the diamond up on that die cut panel. Hold that frame onto there, flip it over. Because now we're going to come in with a pencil and we're going to lay down some tick marks. Wherever we need to cut, we're just going to go ahead and put a little tick mark on there. And you want to be sure that when you're doing this, you're staying in the center of the die cut frame. That way, when you go to add your frame, there's enough there for it to adhere to your panel, but it won't show through. So just take your scissors then and cut along the line. Make sure you stay on that line though. And then once you have it cut out, easy peasy, you're done. You're going to do that to both panels and there we have it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do for this one is I'm going to grab my Copic markers and I'm going to use the broad nib on this and I'm just going to start coloring areas of this second panel that's going to go underneath the first one. You don't have to worry about being real neat with this because it gets covered up by the first one and you really don't see all of it. So now that you, we have it colored with our markers, we can go ahead and start to put this together. And I want to tell you that if you are going to color the whole second panel with your Copic markers, you can completely skip the uh, ink blending on that panel, but you can see I left some of that desert sand uh, ink showing on my panel. So that's why I went ahead and inked it up. I knew I wasn't going to color everything on there, but if you do color everything on it, just skip the inking that up. So some liquid adhesive to the backs of each panel to put them together and to add those to a desert sand card base. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. It's just a top fold card. We're going to line this up on here. Now once we have this lined up, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment down. I decided I would throw the frame on there just for good measure, <laughs> make sure I was centered or close to centered. So I'm stamping with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I find I get the best um, impression when I use that ink and I'm stamping with an acrylic block. Now you can completely skip the mounting foam on this. And if you added the double sided adhesive to the back, just use that to adhere it to your card. But I like the dimension that the double sided adhesive gives. If you've watched me long enough, you know I can't make a card without double sided <laughs> adhesive. So sorry about that. Okay, so some glossy accents and we're going to add some gold sequins to this to finish it off. Now this next card that I'm getting ready to flash across the screen, all I did was ink blend each panel a different color. 
I used a deep sea blue color on the second panel and then on the top panel was a light color scuba. So that's how easy these cards come together. Super simple. I really do appreciate you joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you'll click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for new content coming to the channel. Now for more information on the products used, head over to the Honeybee Stamps website and have a great day.